Okay, hi everyone. So today we're going to be talking about kinematics. We're going to talk about scalars and vectors first. A scalar quantity is a physical quantity that has magnitude only. These things have only numbers in them, but they do not have any directions to them. So you would say things like V1 kg or 0 degrees Celsius for the ice. A vector is a physical quantity that has both magnitude and direction. Some examples are a force. Over here you can see a punch into this guy's face. So um, this would mean that there is a magnitude to the force, how much force you put into it, but there's also a direction, which is to the left. <coughs> so now let's talk about the definition of distance. The total length of travel, irrespective of direction of motion, would be your distance. Imagine this was a running track, and this guy chose to walk all the way from here to here. Distance would be a scalar. To get a distance, you need to measure the exact length which this guy walked until he got all the way here. Now let's compare it with something else that is similar but quite different. Displacement is a vector quantity. Displacement means the distance moved in a particular direction. And the SI unit for both distance and displacement is meters. So let's talk about displacement. Let's say the same guy, he walks all the way through here again around the track over here. So he walked the same distance as before. However, his displacement is only the shortest distance between the end point and the start point. It didn't really matter in which direction or how he walked. It only mattered about the end point and the start point. And the shortest distance between the two is the displacement. There is also a direction to this, whereby the displacement is this magnitude in this direction. So it is clear that for a bent path, the distance would always be more than the displacement. The only time where the distance is exactly the same as the displacement is if, if the object is moving in a perfectly straight line. Here is a summary comparison. Distance is the total length of travel irrespective of direction of motion. However, displacement is only the distance moved in a very particular direction. Distance will be scalar, displacement will be vector. They both have SI unit of meters. Distance you will say 10 meters, but displacement you should say 10 meters to the right because it should include both a magnitude and a direction. The symbol for both of them is S. A lot of you might think distance and displacement you would use D. However, D is actually being used for another type of unit which we will discuss in chapter 4. So now it's question time. In question 1, a car travels 8 km due east first. Then maybe he forgets something over here and he thinks, oh no, I'll have to turn back. So he makes a U-turn back and travels back along the road, 5km. Calculate the distance covered by the car and also its displacement at the end of the journey. So you can pause the video here and you can solve the question. Okay, so now let's review the answer. The distance traveled will be 8km plus 5km gives you 13km. Because it doesn't matter what direction he went as long as you followed his route and that will be the distance he covered. However, displacement is different. It's the difference between this point and this point. So the difference between these two would be 8km minus 5km and this would be 3km. The distance between the start point and the end point would be your displacement. So this is quite a common trick question. This guy walks 4 meters east, 2 meters south, 4 meters west, and finally 2 meters north. So, what is his distance and what is his displacement? For the use of this again, please pause the video here. Okay, so now let's give you the answer. The distance traveled is quite simply again 4 plus 2 plus 4 plus 2, and that gives you a total of 12 meters. However, you can see that where he started is the same place as where he ended start and the end points are the same and there is zero distance between them and that will be your displacement because the starting point is the same as the ending point.